Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here. I wanted to do a review this morning about the Friday the 13th Blu-ray collection. So if you're someone like me who loves horror movies, you're always kind of keeping an eye out for great deals on collections. Like, for example, I've been trying to find the Halloween 4K collection or Halloween Blu-ray collection, I should say. Um, for a while, you know, I don't know that it's in uh, production anymore, but I keep an eye on Mercari and places like that to try and track it down. But I had my eye on this for some time. And again, this is the Friday the 13th Blu-ray collection. Just absolutely amazing packaging, artwork, general design. And you can sort of see here uh, sort of the uniformity in the way that the discs are uh, sort of arranged and what their design looks like. Uh, this is a great collection. So, you know, I've seen all these movies uh, multiple times, really. I mean, some of them more than others. I like some of the more schlocky ones like Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, last night, out of this collection, I pulled out uh, Friday the 13th Part 7, I believe it is. Yeah, The New Blood which is the one that has Tina, the sort of telekinetic Carrie-ish sort of figure in it. Um, I love those types of movies. Um, and so really with this one, you're getting a lot for your money. So you've got Friday the 13th, uh, part one, part two, part three, 3D. And I'll talk about that one in just a second. Um, you've got the final chapter, a new beginning, really the whole thing, even including Jason X, Freddy versus Jason, and then the 2009 Friday the 13th film. So again, a really, and this is a pun intended, a killer deal. For the longest time, when I wanted to watch a Friday the 13th movie, this is what I had to go with. So this is the Friday the 13th DVD collection. Um, I don't know if I'm going to hang on to this now that I have this Blu-ray collection. I might sell this one. I'm not 100% sure. But one thing that I was mentioning just a moment ago has to do with Friday the 13th Part 3 3D. This one comes with red and blue uh, hockey mask theme glasses, which the 3D in this is, you know, not great, obviously. But at least it's got kind of that gimmick with it. You do not get 3D glasses with this one. So I have not watched the disc of Part 3 in this collection, this Blu-ray collection that I just picked up to see. You know, what it looks like, I assume it's obviously just a standard transfer of it, not in 3D because it doesn't have the glasses. That piece of it is a little bit disappointing to me. I wish they gave you sort of that option uh, with that. But uh, for that reason, maybe I will hang on to this one. One thing I will say, though, with this DVD collection, I do not like the packaging of this. I think the front of it does not look great. It just looks kind of generic. Uh, it doesn't even... I mean, for Friday the 13th, right, you've got Jason Voorhees. This doesn't even look like a great picture of him. It looks like something this generic you would find on a poster for, like, a Halloween attraction, you know, a haunted house, that sort of thing. The packaging in this is not great either. I don't particularly love um, these setups where you've got the discs sliding into uh, sort of cardboard or plastic sleeves. You see the same thing with the Star Wars Blu-ray collection, which those those transfers of that look really solid overall, but I don't like the packaging. Again, the packaging of this is just on another level. I love the artwork. I mentioned that a moment ago. I think this is just really, really great looking. Um, so there have been a lot of reviews out there about this. And, and again, just to sort of, I guess, kind of put this out there, I have not watched every version of the Blu-ray that's in this package yet. I just got this a few days ago. So far, I've really just been able to sample Part 7. I thought it looked really good, obviously better than the DVD. There's a lot of film grain on it, but it looks nice overall. It looked great on my uh, TV using my UHD Blu-ray player. So that was really good to see. Um, but again, I think this is a really good deal. And the reason I wanted to do this review mainly because there's already been a lot of great unboxing videos uh, that talk about this, but on Amazon, this was up there for a really great deal for a few uh, weeks now. So I picked this up for $80. Unfortunately, right before I started recording this video, and I just got this a few days ago, I noticed that the price has jumped up to $127.99. So retail for this typically is $160. I still think for $127.99, it's a good deal. I did the math on it a moment ago, and for what you are paying at that price, you're paying a little over $9 per Blu-ray, which is really good. At $80, it was a no-brainer. At that point, you know, the reason I was making this video initially was to say, if you like Friday the 13th, run over and get this before the deal ends because I wasn't sure how long it's going to last. It has gone up, uh, and maybe it becomes a little bit more of a tough pill to swallow at $128. But I think at $9 per Blu-ray, it's still a really good pickup, especially if you're a big Friday the 13th fan. I think it looks great on the shelf. Uh, you know, I just think the way they designed it, uh, Scream, you know, Shout Factory, the way they set this up, it's just an amazing design. The covers for a lot of the Blu-rays that are included in this look really nice, too. They a lot of times have sort of the movie poster covers that we were used to from the 80s, uh, you know, that sort of thing, when this was sort of in its heyday. But... 
For this price, at $128, it doesn't quite become the slam dunk it might have been at $80. Again, at $80, it was just, you had to get this if you're a Friday the 13th fan. Why why not, you know, shell out that money to have that? And they have really good quality versions of each one of these films in your collection. At $128, you still have to think about it, but I still think that's a good deal. At $160, I don't know that it's as worth it, because at that point, you may just want to pick and choose which Friday the 13th movies you like and just have those in your collection, but... I still think at $128 is still a solid pickup. So I just wanted to highlight this this morning and just sort of draw attention to it. If you have this, let me know what you think about the packaging, the design, what's your experience with it. Um, again, if you're interested in this, I would go to Amazon or elsewhere to see if that deal keeps lingering. You know, maybe somewhere else it's still $80, but on Amazon now it's $128. If you're interested in it, I would still consider that and maybe check it out. But anyway, those are my thoughts on it. If you have this collection, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, thanks so much for watching.